In this video, I'll show you how you can easily create a certificate of authenticity that is quick, easy, and aesthetically appealing that you can give to the buyer of your artwork. Hi, I'm Bianca. I'm a watercolor artist creating YouTube videos about watercolor painting and art supplies, and now earning money using your art. So stay with me until the end because I have free item for you. First, I use Canva to create my certificate of authenticity. Canva is a graphic design tool in which you can design a lot of things digitally and print. I use Canva to create my YouTube thumbnails, my YouTube banner, my business card, my planner designs, and my social media posts. I also use Canva to create digital planners and certificates of authenticity for my paintings. It's a free to use app that you could use on your mobile phone, tablet, and computer. Let's go to the computer and let's start creating our certificate. You can log in using your email or Facebook. It's up to you. Once you are in, you can see this page. This is the home page of Canva. You can click on create a design in the upper right corner of your screen. Then it will give you multiple options. You can type in the search certificate. Then it will open a new page like this. On your left, you will see some templates you could use. At the top, you will see Untitled Design Certificate A4 Portrait. You can rename this with a sample COA. You can rename yours how you like to be named. This white screen here is our canvas where you will see what you do. Let's go back to the left side and select a template. You can click on the design. It will automatically go to your blank page. Now we can edit this template. Instead of Certificate of Achievement, we can change the word Achievement with the word Authenticity because this is for your painting. I'll change the name to my name because I am the artist. You don't need to put your client's name on the certificate. When it comes to artwork, the buyer might not be the keeper of the painting. Some of them buy art for someone else. The keeper might die in the future and the art will be left with their family. So it's not necessary to put your client's name. For the paragraph, I will edit this. I would say this artwork is authentic and original work. All copyright and reproduction rights are reserved by the artist. Then, the name on the right, I will remove the other text. For this text, I will edit this and put the title of my artwork. Then I'll duplicate this by clicking the plus sign. I will edit this with the size. This is the size of my artwork. Let's say, for example, 10 by 14 inches. Then I'll duplicate again and type the medium I used in the painting. Let's say medium, colon, watercolor on paper. I'll add the special instructions here. I'll just copy and paste from my other certificate. Special instructions, I would say frame with a glass cover in a cold, dry place and avoid hanging in direct sunlight. Now let's add a frame. Click the elements on the left side and search for the frame mock-up. A mock-up is a visualization design. Like when I sell my artwork without a frame, I post it online and on the certificate with a frame. It can give an idea to the viewer of how the art or the design looks in the frame. For some t-shirts, mugs, bags, and a lot more. Since I am using a Pro account, most of the elements that will pop up first are for Pro. You can filter your search by clicking this toggle and selecting Free. Then, I like this one, so I will click on it to automatically add it to our canvas. 
you can adjust the size and your date if you need to you may have a painting that is portrait and landscape so you can rotate it to resize the frame you can hover on the side and when you see the arrows that are pointing on both sides you can enlarge and make the element smaller to resize the frame you can hover on the side and when you see the arrows that are pointing on both sides you can enlarge or make the element smaller if you find this video helpful kindly tap the like button if you want to see videos like this subscribe and make sure you have the bell notification on so you'll be notified if i upload a new video now it's time to upload the artwork you can click on the uploads on the left then click the upload file once it is uploaded you can click the photo and it will automatically go to your canvas you can resize the photo you may remove the background by clicking edit image and then bg remover you can see other elements here on the left you can use graphics like watercolor brush strokes and other art elements you can drop drag flip rotate and resize the elements that's what i'm doing right now but this time i speeded up the process but watching what i do i know you'll get what i do if you don't like the element you can delete or change it if you think you are done editing your certificate then we can download it now now let's download the file click on the word share at the upper right side of the screen and then scroll down and then select download it may give you png as suggested but you can click to show the others i recommend selecting pdf printing then take the flattened pdf to make sure you'll be printing one page only then on the color profile select cymk then you can click on download once you have saved the file on your computer, you can print it out. You may sign the certificate or add a stamp. I use my logo with a wax seal. Okay, it's time for the free item. Check the link in the description box below for the free template of the Certificate of Authenticity. If you want to know the things you should know before accepting art commission projects, I suggest watching this next video. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this.